Hey everyone, welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Lori Loud from the Loud House. Let's get started at the top of our page with the eyes. I'm going to start on the left side with a circle, starting from the top. Work our way around the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Now I'm going to tuck the nose in between the eyes, so right down here, I'm going to draw a little hook. Going up, and then pulling that back down. Now let's draw that same circle on the right side. Starting on the inside, curve around. We'll pull that in beside the nose. And we're just gonna continue just on top of the nose here. At the top, we're just gonna draw a straight line going across for the eyelid. Now we're gonna tuck the pupils in underneath the eyelid, so we're gonna shift them over towards the left side. So over here, we're gonna draw a little half circle. We're gonna fill that in black. We'll do the same thing on the right side. At the edge of the eyelids, we're just going to draw in the eyelash. So a little sideways V coming in and then down. Do the same thing on the right side. And then above the eyes, we're just going to draw a little curve for the eyebrows. Starting on the left and then on the right. Let's move down below the eyes and draw in the mouth. So we're going to shift the mouth over towards the left a little. So just underneath the left eye, we'll curve down and just below the nose. We're going to connect those two points with a half circle for the bottom of the mouth. Up along the top, we're going to add the top row of teeth. So we're going to take that same curve and just duplicate it right below it. And we're just going to stop right about here and draw a straight line going up. We're going to draw a few little lines across the top to separate the teeth. And then along the bottom, I'm just going to draw a little curve for the tongue. We're going to color the inside part of the mouth in black. Let's move up above the eyes and draw in the hair bangs. So it's just a series of interconnected curves. So starting on the left edge of the eye, we're going to step up, draw a curve going down, and then up above the eyebrow. We'll do that again, coming down towards the eye, and then up in the middle. Now we're going to angle these ones on the right, just over towards the right a little. So coming down towards the eye, and pulling that back up above the eyebrow. We'll do one more, coming down, and we'll curl that back up. On this side on the left, we're gonna draw a shorter one. Just gonna curve down, and then just pull that back up. Now we're gonna tuck the side of the hair underneath this little curve. So at the bottom of the curve, we're gonna come down, and then we'll just pull that back up. We'll do that again, coming down, and we'll just pull that back up to right about there. Now on the side, in behind this hair, we're gonna draw an ear. So at the side of this hair, we're gonna curve out, and then pull that back in. It's almost like a half circle. We're going to draw a little curve in the inside for the inner ear detail. Starting on the inside, we'll curve in, and then we'll hook it back out in the opposite direction. At the bottom of the ear, we're just going to add an earring. So just overlapping the bottom of the earlobe, coming down with a straight line, and then we'll draw in a circle. Now we're going to draw on the bottom of the head, working away over towards the right cheek. So just over here, underneath the ear, we're going to curve down towards the chin. Coming down and in. I'm going to pull this out and then pull it in behind the right eye. Continuing outwards and then just hooking that back in. Before we draw on the rest of the hair, I want to draw on the body because the body overlaps the hair. So right in the middle of the head, we're going to draw two lines coming down side by side for the neck. At the base of the neck, we're just going to darken this up. So a straight line, filling that in black. We'll draw one more line just going below it. Now we're going to square off the shoulders, so from the base of the neck we'll just go out with a short line. On the left side we just want to draw the socket for the arm, so circling around and out. Now we're going to have to draw in the left arm before we draw in the body, so we're going to draw a curve going around towards the hand. So let's start at the top point of the shoulder, the curve out, and then we'll pull that into right about there. We're going to go to the bottom point and draw a curve, just following that inside of the outer curve around and then just pulling that in a little bit further. Down here we're just going to layer in the fingers. So from this bottom line we're just going to curve out, we're going to round up the finger and then just pull that back up. We're going to layer a second finger in behind. So at the bottom here it's going to curve out and then pull that back up. Now the third finger is going to go all the way up and just round out toward the top of the wrist. Bring around and then out. 
just underneath the arm here. We're just going to draw a straight line going in behind the hand. On the right side here, we're just going to curve the outer part of the body coming down towards the waist, right about here. But along the way, we just want to add a little bump for the chest. So curving down to right about there. We're going to add like a backward C. And then we'll pull that back down. Curving down to right about there. We're going to go straight across in behind the hand. Now up in here, we're going to draw that same C shape right in the middle of the body. Beside the base of the neck, we just want to draw a curve for the collar, coming down towards the chest, and then back up. Now let's go ahead and draw on the right arm. So we're going to take this arm and just flip it over on the right side. Starting at the top of the shoulder, we're going to curve out, pull it back in to right about here. We go to the bottom of the arm, draw the same thing, curving around, and pulling this straight in towards the side of the body. We're going to layer in the fingers. Now we're going to go in the opposite direction as we have on the left. So curving out, round out the finger and then pull that back up. At the base of this finger we're just going to bump out, pull that back up and then the third finger we're just going to pull it up in behind the body. Now that we've drawn in the upper body we can go back up and draw in the top of the hair. So on the outside here right on the top we're going to curve up and over towards the right. Coming down and then back up. Let's work in the left side. So we're going to draw a little wave coming out coming down and out towards the left. We want to curl around the bottom of the hair, just down around here. So curving in the opposite direction, down towards the bottom, and we're going to pull that back up, aiming towards the ear. We're going to draw another curve, coming down and back up. Now we're going to pull this in behind the body, with a curve. Let's go back up to the top and draw the front of the hair. So this one's going to curve out and then back up, and around, just pull that back up right about here. Draw a little tiny bump coming down and then back up. Now we want to sort of follow this curve going out towards the right. So from this point, I'm going to curve it out. We're going to round it out and come in towards the face. And now we're going to do another bump coming down with like a little half circle. And then we'll tuck this in behind the arm. Let's go back down to the bottom and draw in the legs. So from the corners of the hips, we're going to step in and draw two straight lines coming down. From here, we're going to overlap the ends coming out and then coming down in an angle towards the center. Starting on the left, we'll come down in an angle, then we'll go up in an angle towards the right. We're going to draw a short line coming down on either side. Now we're going to connect those two points with a straight line going across. Now right in the middle, we're going to step up in the lower torso and come straight down towards the ankles. Straight down to right about there. Now let's work in the outside edge of the legs. So just underneath the cuff of the pants, we're going to step in, draw a straight line coming down. We're going to do that on both sides. Now we're going to bump out the calves and come down towards the ankles. We're going to leave a little gap at the bottom. So on the left side, we're going to bump it out and come down. Do the same thing on the right, bumping it out coming down. Right in the knees, we're just going to add a little curve. We're going out towards the left and out towards the right. Now on the left side, we're going to connect those two points with an oval. So we start in the front, curving out towards the left, pulling that back, and then hooking that in towards the center. Up in here, just want to draw a curve for the top of the shoe, curving across. We're going to take that foot and flip it over on the right side. So we're going to start here, Curving out towards the right, rounding it out, pulling that in behind the left foot. We'll draw that little curve for the top of the shoe, going up, and that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Lori Loud from the Loud House. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.